Greetings traders. This is Mohan here with a tutorial on how to set up your e-signal boomerang chart to the default uh, method that I use for the most clarity and precision in trading. After you get used to using this a while, you can adjust it to however you want with different colors and everything. But for now, I'll just show you the default approach that I use, which gives us lots of clarity in reading the boomerang charts. So the first thing you want to do is go up here and hit new chart and you'll see the chart comes up here now it just happens to already set it up for the NQ pound F chart here so what I want you to do next is go up here and click detach window right here that'll allow you to move the chart around and take it outside of your main page here which is often the super page whatever so once you do that what you can do is reduce this super page right here and just have your your regular uh, chart set up here while I'll get and I'll come in and show you now the parameters and how to go ahead and create the boomerang chart okay so once you've applied the boomerang indicators to the chart I'm gonna show you exactly how to make your chart look like this one here this is our default boomerang day trader chart on a white background so once you have that set up all you have to do after you've selected on your add-on studies boomerang day trader regardless of the background of your chart the first thing I want to do to get you cooking here is you gonna go ahead and set the chart to white background now the way you do that is you right click on the chart and you go scroll down here to properties and the background and grid right here what I want you to do is uh, you can remove all the grids by just unchecking the grid lines here and the regular session background change to white see if you click on this you'll get a whole different variety of colors just put the little pencil up here to white and make the background uh, white the next thing I want you to do is go down to the cursor now you're gonna need a cursor when you trade with boomerang it's gonna be very helpful in determining the prices and different things like that so what you can do is move the uh, font up I would say a little bit higher here perhaps up to like 11 be a little easier to read and on the font or on the cursor put always visible check that on the top cursor label always visitor visible and cross pointer there okay that sets the cursor in a default matter and again that'll be used to measure the spreads and the dynamic trend bands when necessary according to the simple boomerang methods and rules which you'll also see available here on this eSignal web page and you can always email me for those if you have any questions at mohan at daytradersaction.com next I want you to go to scales now this is really important because the eSignal charts are really technical and they're great because what you can do is set the scales so you can widen out the bars you know notice this here when I click let me show you here when I click on the scale notice the bars spreading further apart giving them more room here isn't that excellent that gives you lots of room to see the dots in between and everything I'd like you to go ahead and set that to 22.5657 like it shows here and then on the bar width down here see how when you click on this it makes the bars a little wider now they're going to be wider as you spread out the charts I'll show you them in a minute, but just go ahead for now and set that to 8.46 to 8.48 and that's great now close that out and everything will lock down here now keep in mind when you're down here and you're scrolling in the chart by dragging and clicking on the very bottom here those bars are going to get thinner or wider accordingly but by on that default setting right when you're about centered like here you'll get a nice all notice how all the uh, 
the candles are nice and spread out here so it's very important to do that scaling there and so now what I want you to do is to set up the default setups here for boomerang and you can do that by going right clicking on the chart and you should remember these functions because you'll constantly be using them if you need it and go to edit chart now what that you can see what that brings up here is all your boomerang indicators that are loaded into the chart which includes the 450 tick chart see that you set it up for candle these are all default here you can leave these in here and then you go to the now what because we have a white background what I want to do is eliminate the lines on the trade channel here the upper and the lower ones it'll make your boomerang easier to read there so under the trade channels go ahead and set the fast color and the slow rising color and the slow line falling color set those all to white you see that set that all to white and that'll erase the lines in there on your uh, the upper movement here set that to green on the cross up shape and on the cross down shape to red those are the arrows for the channels opening and those are already going to be on there anyway and then on your uptrend color make it a light green shaded color here and on the downtrend color like a light almost a pink color those will give you the best effects you have to search a little bit through the menu and find that but it's very easy to do so and then you have uh, a ding and a boing for the cross up and the cross down those are your standard default sounds you can use next you go down to the trade signal line and here on the trade signal line are the settings for the Cobra what I'd like you to do is make sure that that Cobra line thickness is set at 5 you see that under the trade signal line area under Cobra the dot type is standard default but set that thickness make sure it's set to 5 and don't ever change these parameters up here otherwise it will uh, change the trade signal line and pretty much make the program dissimilar to how it is now it's not the correct program that I've set up so always leave those the same and then as you're coming down here you can see that you can lead everything the same now on the entry cell shape you can use a variety of things I've chosen diamond on here because the diamond just seems to look better to me on the line if you want to print a dot or a square whatever that's okay to you this drop down menu here will allow you a choice I use a diamond here and what I do is I paint the diamond blue on the up color pull back to the sig line and I paint it black on the cell shape the cell color going down Do you see that and you can also um, check and use the sound alerts here same thing they will alert you when it taps the signal line according to the rules the next level here is the dynamic trend bands and what I'd like you to do on the DTBs here is make sure that you have the fast line at four period thickness and the slower thick line here at a five period thickness so we're just going to have that dash and dotted dynamic trend band number one a little bit thinner by one point than the thicker uh, solid line hyperscalp is all set up with default readings you don't really need to change that the bias index number one below is also set up with the default readings you don't really need to change anything here and the bias index number two shown down here also now you just want to make sure though if it doesn't appear thick enough to you to just go ahead and thicken up the uh, the line here on the different colors up here I have it set at an eight period thickness on the bias index two which is down here and similarly on bias index number one 
also an eight period thickness. So just double check that to make sure they're thick and easily recognizable for you here with the colors. And again, once you get into the program, you've been using it a while, you can easily go back in and change the thickness, you can change the colors that you like. Everything's completely customizable on eSignal. So once you've done this, you'll have a white background color chart. We've removed the lines on the stair step looking trade channels and we made the color a light green color. And we've made the channels on the downside more or less a kind of pinkish to slightly darker reddish color. And again, these are all changeable according to whatever your preferences are. We've got blue dots on the buy signal line here. When, the, when we have a buy channel opening up here with the green arrow and a pull back the signal line, we're going to get blue uh, triangles, or diamonds I mean, blue diamonds. And on the cell side, when we get the right setup here, like we're seeing here with new cell channel opening, we're going to get black diamonds for the cell entries on the signal line here. That's basically it. The rest is all set to go. I'll also be doing a video on the methodology for trading so you can understand exactly, and I'll do it over an extended period of time, what the trade signals are and how they work and what the basic rules are for Boomerang Day Trader. So thank you for watching this recording, and uh, this should give you the basics for how to set up a default chart that you can later alter in any way that you'd like. Uh, according to the colors you like, thickness of the candles, everything else. So thanks for joining with me today, and I sure appreciate you uh, purchasing Boomerang Day Trader through eSignal.